Hello. Hi, we did it. If anybody's there, I don't know if we have anybody there. I don't know. That's okay. I don't know. I don't know if we know. How do we know if anybody's there? Oh, there's there's a little person thing right there. Oh, we have two people there. Maybe hello? somebody will say hello to people who are here with us. Say hello. Say something. Hello. Oh, Monica! Hi! Hello, Monica! <laughs> We're not alone! <laughs> Monica! <laughs> Alright, you guys. <laughs> Our people that are here, two people that are with us. We are so excited to be live streaming with you guys. Um, this one and I have wanted to live stream for a while here. And it's kind of been a goal, right? We love to draw. We love to talk about stuff and take our imaginations and mm -hmm. dump them on our papers and add doodles and words into things. Some people call it sketch noting. Some people call it visual learning, visual thinking, um, doodling to learn. Whatever you call it, we love it. <laughs> Idea flooding. So we thought every once in a while we'd love to just turn on the live feed and bring you guys along with us on a topic to let you tap into our imaginations and hear us talk about things as we draw and as we sketch note and visual note take about things. And a bunch of educators on Twitter have been talking about gratitude and what it means to them. So we thought that that would be the perfect topic for us to, to draw about. So we hope that you at home have gathered up your own paper and markers, pencils, whatever you, whatever you like, and will join us on what we're calling a doodle and a chat. And we hope, like we said, we hope this is not the first or the last, wait, this is the first, but we hope it's not the last. And we even hope that maybe other people will join us here with us as we draw together. So today's topic is gratitude. We love- Gratitude. Like, <laughs> we would, like we said, we'd love for you guys to grab your own paper and your own pen and draw with us as we're talking about the idea and the topic, figure out how to activate that imagination and get those words and images on paper. Um, so should we get going? We should keep going. We should get going. Should keep going. All right. So we're going to switch this camera over so that you can see us drawing on paper. Um, if you have questions or wonders, you can type them in the comments or the chat room box <laughs> thing, and we will answer them as we are drawing. But otherwise, we're going to get started. Yeah? Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Our lovely basement. It's our center hub for all of our sketch noting. All right. Should we get started? You ready? Yeah. All right. So I like to put my title sometimes in the middle. Where do you like to put your topic? In, in the, the middle. In the middle. I think I'm going to put mine up at the top here. I might do it at the top because I might have more space for everything that I'm. Yeah, but it really doesn't matter where you go. Yeah. I like to add the topic first. Because it's going to ground my, all of my doodles and ideas for what the whole thing's going to be about. What? It's backwards? No. What? Oh, Linda! Hello! Hi. Yay! We have four people. We have four people. <laughs> We're not alone. And it's backwards. I didn't expect that. Well, that's okay. Um, so I'd love to start with the topic first on my paper, because I feel like, and I like to do that with my students too. Um, I'm a special education teacher and I feel I'm like when student and you're a student, <laughs> when we start with our topic, um, that should guide all of everything on our paper. So everything on this paper should be about gratitude and it really gives everybody a nice anchor for their, um, sketch note and helps them remember what they're going to be writing about. And it gives us, it kind of keeps everybody on task, right? And then if we're listening to a longer lecture or reading our text, um, that topic should guide everything that's on our paper. So Annabeth, we had a conversation about gratitude this morning, didn't we? We went grocery shopping for Thanksgiving dinner. Yum, yum, yum. And Annabeth was like, what is gratitude, Mom? Yeah. So we had to have a conversation about that. Um, and what did we talk about, Annabeth? What you're thankful for. What we're thankful for, right? What we're grateful for. So I feel like gratitude is super powerful, way more powerful than just needing to be talked about at Thanksgiving. I'm making my title 
really thick. I like to bring it and make it nice and bold. Why don't you scooch in with me, sister, so people can see what you're drawing? Okay. I don't really know what, what's going on, but I'm going to make it work. But you don't really need a plan either, do you? No, we don't. It's just kind of free Yeah, we can just free flow things. It's free for all. So I think sometimes when people think about sketch noting and visual note taking, they think that you have to have all these visuals in your head that you already know, need to know how to draw. And I think what people would be surprised is most of us still, I mean, we think in pictures and it's super powerful. But even when we're doing these sketch notes, I still will add words first and then visualize my thinking next. So the next thing I'm going to do is think about like, what is gratitude to me? Um, I know gratitude is a powerful tool. Um, it just amplifies life when we're grateful for things, right? It makes everything that might seem a little bit not so great in our life, it makes the good stuff um, better, right? So it's powerful. Hi, Orion. Great to see you. Thank you for joining us. I was hoping you were going to join us. Yay. <laughs> So grateful, another word for grateful is thankful. So I just, I just realized you're a lefty. I am a lefty, you're right. Um, I'm a righty. So sorry to hear about that, Ryan. His guinea pig passed away. Aww. That's sad. But I'm sure you're grateful for all the memories that you have with your guinea pig. You're welcome. <laughs> so gratitude. Um, there's basic things that I'm grateful for, like food. The Family. basics, right? The basics that if we have them, they really make life just work, right? Yeah. So the basics, food, Family. house. Family. Family. I would say love. Family. You think a family's important? I, I <laughs> think family's important. <laughs> house, food, love. Um... Yeah, sunsets are, we're grateful for sunsets. I know you like your sunsets, Ryan. <laughs> um, grateful for friends. Friends are such a basic thing. I think your age is the one where, like, if you just are... have one really good friend, life is just great. great. <laughs> Friendship is so important. Too much time on my tail. I'm going to get going. So we have our basics. Do that too. What else am I grateful for? Love, family. What else are we grateful for, you guys? Why don't you each list something and we'll add it to our sketch note. Grateful for friends, family. Uh, I am stumped. <laughs> health. Oh, great one, Monica. Health. Yes. That's awesome. Isn't that such an underestimated one? I feel yeah, like that when, totally. we're, when we're healthy... Everything is great and easy. And then when we're not healthy, we realize how awesome it is to be healthy, right? Right. Ooh, books. Grateful for books. books Love it. This is a um, great one. Yeah. Well, Annabeth, you're reading a book right now. I'm reading? I'm reading Belly Up. And you're obsessed with it. I'm obsessed. Yes, Belly Up. Super silly book. Super books. silly, but I think like when I was reading two nights ago, I, I stayed up a little too long. <laughs> and. He almost got killed by a black mamba. A black what? Mamba. Is that a snake? a snake? Mm. I'm grateful for no snakes. <laughs> yeah. Ooh, let's be grateful for pets. Love it, Ryan. Mm, pets are awesome. And <laughs> mamba. Mom no mamba. <laughs> no mamba. <laughs> we'll be grateful for nature. After I love that, I, I'm scared of snakes. <laughs> nature. So I do tend to think, I, I do tend to get my words out first when I sketch out, even if I'm, even if I'm with my students or live sketch noting a, a, a keynote or something, I tend to capture the words first and go back and um, put images in. I mean, we do want to think in both things. Thank you so much for being with us, Monica. Go eat with your family. Have a wonderful Thanksgiving, yes. Linda, learning and art. Um, so Ryan says he does pictures and then words. 
which is awesome. Yeah. I really think it's whichever way you, you want to do things. Yeah, yeah. for sure. Um, I do think that the better we get at visualizing, the faster the right. images come out on our paper. You're not backwards, Ryan. You know what I say about sketch noting, right? Ooh, these markers are squeaky today. Yes. All right, so I'm going to start adding some images to things. I'm just kind of... You're making your list? Making What's, my list. Making a list. some little pictures, icons over there. So you like to add your colors first. I do. do you, colors are my thing. I love colors. So colors just add a lot of power to everything. They do. They do. And I'm just like a black and white person. <laughs> Boring. All right. So images. Great. Powerful. So when I think of powerful, I think of muscles. Yeah. Hands are so hard to draw. Sometimes I'll put my hand up in front of my um, my eyes I so that I can imagine draw. what a fist <laughs> looks like. I cannot draw it. And sometimes it just looks like, yeah. It looks bad. <laughs> That's not bad. It's not terrible. It's not terrible. Muscles. Mm. Muscles. And then I'll put this little lines here. The great thing about putting words around your images is even when they're stinky, which they're never stinky, right? They're just what they are, right? They're, they're different for everybody. <laughs> the word next to the image will automatically tell your brain what it is, even if the image is not um, for, as good as we'd like it to be. For, for my food, I just drew some pizza. Oh, I wonder why. Yeah, I'm picky. And you love pizza. And I love pizza. All right, for health, I'm going to draw a first aid kit. I need to start doing my things that I'm going to perform on the basics anymore. My students have they did words first. Yeah, I think, Ryan, however we want to do it. It's, it's your mind. It's like, however your it's, mind works, yeah. you know. Um, I really say there are no rules. It's just the power of images and right. words together. Yeah. However it works for you um, is what, you, what it should be. Books. Books are like two squares together, aren't they? Good yeah. thing for like squiggly lines because they make the books look like books even when they're not. Learning. Thought bubble. <laughs> what, did I just take no, your thing? No, I just totally... Learning. My health. I, I, I spelled it wrong. Oh, you just, so I put the little L right there. Yep, you just cross it off and keep going, right? Pencil for learning. Thankful, thankful. I'll do pets. I, I will do a little doggy. Yeah. It's my favorite one. With the little ears. A little doggy with the nose and the eyes. Thankful, thankful. What do we imagine when we hear thankful? Okay. What's an image that comes to your head when we think of thankful or knowledge? Knowledge is, my, is like a brain. Oh, yeah. Brain, that's a bunch of squiggly lines. What do we imagine when we think of thankful? Having a job, but what icon could I draw next to thankful? What would I imagine in my head? Having a job is so thankful, yes. Um, friends, house. House is a square with a triangle on top. Love house. I don't know, but food, I'm thinking turkey leg. I still can't think of, what would I draw for thankful? What image? Um, You know what, maybe I'll do like a little present because we get lots of things that we're thankful for. Yeah. And sometimes idea. we just least they're least expected and we just unwrap them, huh? Right. It's like little gifts. I'm not gonna say the C word. It's still before Thanksgiving. <laughs> she refuses to listen. Oh, I like the praying hands or a picture of a classroom. Yes. Now I have to imagine what praying hands look like, Linda, because that's a tricky one. I have to go to my emoji stash in my brain. Hands, bring hands would be like this, right? So, praying, so thumbs up and then two fingers. Get it? So, thumbs up, Woo! Linda. Thumbs up, ay, ay, ay. 
Oh boy. Oh, I... not terrible. <laughs> not <laughs> I think that's going to get a scribble. Linda, I'm going to have to work on those praying hands. I know emojis are awesome. And I can I... imagine what the praying hands look like, but I'm going to need some practice on that. I am thankful for my teachers. Aww. Knowledge. I'm going to do a light bulb. Knowledge. Dun, 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 dun. Ha, ha, ha. Why am I humming? <laughs> Brains are super fun because you really can't mess them up. They're like an oval. It is tricky, Linda. Thank you for being so forgiving. Um, brains are super fun. They're just a really weird oval with squigglies. All right. I don't really know what I'm doing to my learning, but I like it. Ooh, I like that too, girl. Let's see if we can get that in focus. I don't know what I'm doing to it, but I Annabeth really like it. <laughs> is a font fiend, and she loves fonts. Which is another way you can ex you can show emotion or thinking is by just adding fun fonts to things or adding um, fun motion to words because words can also show images with things. But Anna, she loves her fonts. Yeah. <laughs> we always hum on Wednesday. Love it. <laughs> I did try, Ryan. I did. All right, I'm gonna add some color to mine. Oh, that's um, not. Or, or, or different orange. Uh, oh, your hamster? Orange, orange. Oh, you're I, I put his full name. So I took the whole Houdini bottom. That's her hamster's name, you guys. Yeah. Oop, he, Ryan, or Linda says that she thinks that you're learning less cool. Thank you, Linda. Thank you. I'm obsessed with fun. All right, so I find that the coloring in part it's one of my favorite parts. And I also like to save it to the end for several reasons. I feel like it's totally therapeutic, right? Coloring in things and right. focusing on it. It calms you down. Um, it's definitely a calming tool when we work with our students. The coloring in definitely helps with um, self-regulation and calming down. I also like, um, even I know homework is, you know, there's mixed points of views on homework. But just even having students take their sketch notes home and color them in at home, you're asking them to go um, over their notes and add color to things. They're going to have to reread them. So what might seem like a really menial task for students can be really powerful in connecting things. We could even ask students to color code things. So if I was going to go through this and color code what I'm grateful for, I could color code everything about my family or about um, – yeah, about my family in one color. I could color what I'm grateful for for my school. And another thing, I could color color code my basics. And then we're anchoring things that um, are similar. Do we have no red in this array of colors? Is that red or is that that's, orange? That's red. Oh, look at that. It is red. We should, We maybe we'll have Ryan, maybe... Um, we should have a doodle chat with just fonts. I do know that there My are mind. <laughs> <laughs> there are some people out there um, that are more talented at it than I am, but there are lots of fun ways to take words and turn them into fonts, and then the words are visuals, which is super fun. Oh my god, I've seen that before. I love it. <laughs> Never tried it. <laughs> hmm. What do you have? What books? do I have? Books. books? Yeah, I think the Linda said books. Yeah. Yeah. Books. I mean, Linda, I don't have like solid proof, like scientific research that shows that coloring in is going to help <laughs> students right. learn better. But I think anytime we can have students review over what they've learned or synthesize information the second time, um, it can't hurt. I know I'm looking at these words and thinking about what I want to color them in and connecting things. Mm -hmm. 
So we are thinking that this isn't going to be the last. We're calling it doodles and chats. So we're thinking that this isn't going to be the last one that we're ever going to do. Um, are you guys enjoying yourselves? You can lie to us. I'm just joking. Um, no, we're thinking about a monthly thing. Making this a monthly thing. What do we think? Yeah. I'm thankful for traveling. For travel. You're thankful for travel? Travel yeah. is nice, isn't it? Yeah. Ooh, that is an ugly orange. Oh, well. Yeah, that's what Yay. I thought. <laughs> so when um, we have one person that says yes, that's enough for us, Linda. That means we'll do it again. Um, what do we think about when to do it? Do we prefer weekend mornings? Yeah. Weekend evenings? We that. Uh, that is helpful. Mm, I'm, I'm using all the colors. I know. I'm a, personally a morning person. Um, Annabeth is not. I am not a morning person. I'm you not know. a late night person. I'm just. She's a midday person. I'm a midday person. <laughs> You're so weird. <laughs> no, no worries. We definitely think that this would be fun for people to join us and then um share out so we'd love for it to become a thing why did i grab yellow oh well okay i'm gonna start on my icons so ryan what is a shazam sketch note that sounds like a way cooler name than doodles and chats yeah it does <laughs> It's like Shazam. 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 <laughs> um, why am I running out of colors am I from my brain? So I am a full color user. I do not limit myself to the colors that um, I sketch note with. This is really dark blue green. Um, I do have like a five color palette that I usually go to when I'm sketch noting for a keynote, but otherwise, who Saturdays in the morning? We'll have to have coffee, right, Linda? Um, I think that's a great idea. That would be good for us. Saturdays in the morning. Love I, it. I will deal with it. <laughs> She's at 9.30. 9.30? I, I can I can. You're asleep. That. That's your that's your wake-up time. That is. I'm fine with that. Get and we get and Trisha sketch note. to sketch note with us, too. So I do like to use a variety of different colors. I have, like, five of my favorite. Annabeth went a little bit insane on the colors today. Well, we have so many. I just need, we need to use She didn't want any of them to feel left out, I guess. Yeah, yeah, you can just say that. If that sounds oh weird, God. that sounds like I'm a sharp, Sharpie addict. Which I kind of am, but yeah. Yeah, we have a Sharpie issue. We have a lot of That's Sharpies. Okay. You can never have too many Sharpies. In our opinion. Just like butter. Yes, I have, Ryan. I think now I think I know who you're talking about. I'm not as big into the comics as you are. Your your depth of knowledge in comics is amazing. But mine is just this, mine's not very big. I don't read many comics, but I do like the Netflix series. Those are DC, right? Yeah. No, those are Marvel. Are they DC? Some, like Flash is DC, I believe. Well, Ryan will tell us if we're wrong. All right, a chicken leg is brown. Okay, I know this is random, but if you like comics, Stanley died. Yeah, Ryan was very sad about that. I'm sad. Sharpies are good, um, <laughs> Linda. They are good markers. The Crayolas work really well, too. Um, so do the flare tip pens. We kind of have a pen issue. A pen. <laughs> we just like pens, period. We love pens. Um, I would say whatever works for you. Sometimes Annabeth and I will just pick up a regular ballpoint pen. Yeah. yeah, gel pens are great also. I have trouble with the smear sometimes with my left hand. Um, so I have to be careful with pens. I, I do I'm not use. big into Crayola because I do get smears everywhere. You get smears? I get smears. All right. How sweet. What color is the house going to be? I didn't finish my presents. But you won't say from what holiday. No. It's not Thanksgiving yet. Ma oh stop. You are so dramatic. So dramatic. So dramatic. Dramatic. 
Yes, clearly a pen issue. Proudly. Proudly. Yes, a pen issue. proudly. We also, I mean, it's kind of our hobby. We really do love to draw. All right, I'm going to be wrapping things up here. How about you, kiddo? I think we're... I think we're going to try to keep these to a half an hour, you guys. Um, but, of course, we could chat forever about this. Oh, my God. Forever <laughs> is right. I'm not sure how the doodle chats are going to go. If we're going to pick a topic that we can all sketch note together. I think that would actually be really great. Um, I know most of you guys know that we do the idea of flood sketch note challenge. And so that's topic based. Right. Um, so this month's topic was not gratitude. It was not. It was good. I would really like to stay away from how to draw certain things, but we could always do that if people want that. But for right now, we're just going to stick with drawing and chatting. I am hoping that maybe we'll get some different people here, some friends, start with some friends, and then work our way through that. I'm glad you did too, Linda. And we'll try to give you more than two hours advance notice next time also. You are welcome, Ryan. Thank you for coming and being a part of this. It means a lot to us that you were that you were with us and that we weren't alone. All right, how are we doing, Miss? Are we almost done? I think. Okay. All right, before we go, we talked about what we were grateful for. Um, what is everybody doing for the holidays? Cooking, traveling. We just have a small family this year. It's just me, the girls, my husband, and my dad. Yeah. <laughs> we promised more than five minutes, Linda. Oh, I love it, Annabeth. Mm -hmm. Oh, I wanted to like. Oh, that's right. I forget you're in Canada. Your Thanksgiving is in, yes, October. You said that. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's cool. Oh. Yeah, I remember I have family in in, in uh, Canada. And when we were growing up, we always would travel up there because I think it's a holiday weekend for us here in the States. So we would travel up and then we'd have Thanksgiving in Canada with the nice. Canadian cousins. Double, nice. double Thanksgiving for us. Nice. Oh, I like the colors. I just need to put a book. My fa my crazy family? Yeah. <laughs> yes, times two. Family home job. That's a good combination. Hopefully you'll get to rest uh, over the break, Ryan. Ooh, I like this stack of books. I always draw an open book. I never thought about doing a stack of books. Here, come closer. I never thought about doing a stack of books. Oh, you're going to draw your favorite books on there? Yeah. Just draw squiggle lines if you can't think of. Oh, yep. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh, wonder. Oh, there at the top. Love it. How are we doing? Finishing touches? Yeah, just one more. She could go on forever. I really could. Done. All right. My colors. So we have our two gratitude sketch notes. Very different, but both um <laughs> very very different. Very but different. Both our own. All right, I'm gonna switch the camera up so you guys can see us, and then we're gonna wrap things up. We have two people left. I think we have Ryan and well, Linda. Linda says both sketch notes, both sketch notes, totally different but equally great. Oh, thank oh, you, Linda. Cool. Whoa. Hello, camera. Do not fall. Hello again. All right, you guys. Thank you so much for being with us. Um, I think we have Linda and Ryan left with us. We are super excited to have launched our first doodle and chat. And we cannot wait to um, have another one, right? We're looking for Saturday mornings, mm -hmm. probably next month. 
And we hope to see you. (laughs) We we will give you guys more than five minutes notice, Linda. Mm -hmm. Um, Happy Thanksgiving to you, too. So until next time. Remember when you're sketch noting, you or should doodle sketch note two. Two. Remember when you're doodling and you're chatting? You, you should, should do- sketch note two. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you guys. Bye. bye. See you next time. Happy Thanksgiving, Thanksgiving, everyone. Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Stop it now. Mm-hmm. It's not even Thanksgiving. She's done. She cut off. <laughs> bye, you guys. Bye. No rules. That's right. <laughs>